Welcome to the Meetup Show. It's a podcast about meeting new people where we share their journeys, learn from their experiences, their struggles, their success, and beyond. Enjoy the show and subscribe to the channel. So I was reading this article the other day, and the article talks about a research about the importance of an effective teacher, uh, where it says that students achieve three times the academic gain with an effective one than they do with a less effective one. So in your opinion, what do you think is an effective teacher? Or who is an effective teacher? I think uh, to be an effective teacher, you have to teach uh, your students to be effective. That is why I teach them uh, how to listen effectively, how to write effectively. Uh, like, you know, for example, while you're listening, you don't only listen with concentration, you uh, listen without any distraction. You listen with your body in the sense that, you know, you nod your head and so that uh, while teaching them, I understand that they have understood what I'm saying. And you listen with, uh, with interest and without judging. Because the moment you start judging, you stop being an effective listener. So, you know, I don't judge my students. Uh, I, I think all of them are uh, intelligent. Uh, uh, some of them may be lazy, but uh, intelligence is something I never doubt about my students. Uh, aptly stated. Uh, uh, today, uh, we have Mr. Kozaima Ziyadin in the studio with us. Mr. Kozaima Ziyadin is a brilliant educator. He's been in the teaching profession for over a decade and is currently a faculty in ULAP, that is U University uh, of Liberal Arts, Bangladesh. Uh, but apart from teaching, Mr. Ziauddin is also a professional trainer and provides communication training to educational institutions as well as NGOs in the country. Kozambhaya, a very warm welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank it, it, The pleasure is mine and well, I think we'll go straight to the reason why. Why do you? Why did you come to teaching? Current, as far as I know, the, the teaching profession to you came quite late in your career. So, True. why? Why? Why teaching? I think uh, it's because of some of the amazing teachers that I've had. Uh, first and foremost uh, is Mrs. Yasmin Murshid. She is the founder of Scholastica. Yeah, yeah. And from Mrs. Mushid, I learned the love for the English language. Even today, I remember her teaching me uh, uh, Keats and the way she used to recite Ode to the Grishinan is something I still remember today. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. And I, when I just look at her, I was think that, OK, so she's someone I want to ape or I want to be like. Uh, but then, uh, like I said, there were other teachers. Like when I went to Shimer College at U in USA, I met Dr. Frank Kurtz, who used to be my social sciences professor. And he helped me improve my writing skills. It took him two and a half years to do that, but he never gave up on me. So the two things he taught, one is that you know there's hope, and you should not give up on your students. And uh, third is Malika Sarwar. Um, uh, she taught me at North South University, and she taught me to be meticulous, to be a perfectionist, mm. right? And last but not the least is Professor Imran Rahman. Um, he is the dean of the uh, School of Business at ULAB, and he's the one who had the foresight, uh, and he saw something in me which I never did. So it takes a teacher to, uh, to uh, see something different mm -hmm. in, in, in someone. So I think uh, because of him, I'm at ULAB. And uh, today, I think I'm creative. I, uh, I, uh, I see is things in my students which they can't see is because of Imran. Uh, so, you know, so these are the four people, I guess, you know, who have uh, kind of uh, uh, inspired me Beautiful. to become the teacher I am today. Beautiful. Uh, wouldn't you, uh, would you agree uh, with me that a teacher has the power to inspire and change the lives of the student? 
Oh, yes. Uh, there's one thing one of my professors had told me, that you're not a teacher until you touch your students' lives. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 I uh, not only teach them, I also am their friend. I'm also uh, their confidant. I'm also uh, someone who emotionally supports them. Uh, even after class, even with these online classes right now, you know, they still uh, talk to me. Sometimes uh, uh, the class gets over at 9.15, but we are still chatting with each other till one in the morning. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so uh, like I said, that, that is why I think one of the reasons is uh, then, uh, even when they are, when, when my classes are uh, interactive classes, I don't give lectures. So uh, that's why I think if you have that kind of a relationship with your student, uh, they don't feel uh, uh, that they uh, are with uh, a professor or a faculty member. They think of you as a friend and they open and they, they discuss anything. Uh, that uh, you know, they're not. Uh, they don't have uh, apprehensions. Um, I think this. Uh, the reason I asked you this question was this brings me uh, to the next point of discussion, and it's centered around this research about what actually makes a great teacher. What makes a good teacher a great teacher? And in this research, they they took I think almost two hundred sixty thousand samples. Uh, from students, and they asked this one simple question. And the question was, who, who is a great teacher? What makes a great teacher? And the response they got was quite surprising. And the most common responses, there were quite a few. I've selected only four uh, for us to discuss. And I want to put forward those questions for you. And I'll be, you'll be fascinated by the response. And the first response was, so this, this was the most common answer that, that they put forward when they were asked this question. Uh, they said that a great teacher is chill. And they were like, why? why? And they uh, asked, what, what, do, what do they mean by chill? So they inquired, like, why would you, why would you write such thing? And what they say wa said was, a great teacher speaks in their language. They, mm -hmm. He communicates in their way of communicating. So What's your what's your take on that? A great teacher is chill. Could you can you relate this to to how you teach? Yeah, I I think so because like I said, I'm uh, friendly, and uh, uh, they open up to me, and they, they say uh, anything that comes to their mind. They don't think twice. Uh, they don't rehearse anything that uh, they uh, they say. Um, I think it comes from the heart. Like for example, you know, uh, people who I teach uh, career planning, uh, they come to me the next semester to do communication workshop, and they were telling me this semester that, sir, we couldn't sleep at night. We're so excited that, you know, that we're going to, again, begin a class with you, right? So that says it, that like I speak their language, right? Exactly, right. absolutely. And Amar, I want to make an example. This is Amar Shata Chita Holo, Holo. Uh, you know, there are certain words Akonkar generation A, Jeshop student I use Kore. And one of those words was lit. Lit. It was like, and I, I, I knew this word, so I mean, class at Hukke. This was back in Malaysia. So I was like, oh, you guys are so lit. I was like, what? So you know this word lit? I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. And AJ, just because of that one word, right. there's always already a rapper. Right. And then you guys like, okay, now I'm I'm, I'm in your group. I'm right. I belong to yeah. your group. Yeah. You're one of us. You're one of us. And right. it, that is the first step of becoming yeah. this person, Jay Manush yeah. Tebiona. He's his is like us. Like so it's like breaking the ice. Breaking the ice. Breaking yeah. the ice with something that absolutely. is so relatable to them. Absolutely. You're huh? so right. Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that was the first uh, question. Second most, the most popular uh, answer that the students gave was, a great teacher thinks like a kid, but acts like an adult. And what they meant by that was a great teacher walks in their shoes, but at the same time, as an adult, he lays down the ground rule. True. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 I believe... Uh, in teaching my students soft skills, uh, which is really 
badly needed. And uh, I'm very strict about certain things, about attendance, about coming to class on time, keeping the webcams on, and things like that, you know? Uh, uh, so I try to uh, not discipline them, but, uh, uh, you know, teach them uh, uh, how to behave in a certain mm -hmm. way, right? And uh, uh, so when, he, he, so I have to be strict with them to that extent, right? Uh, but other than that, uh, anything goes, right? Uh, so uh, again, the question that you asked me right now, uh, uh, can you repeat that again? Yeah, that the great teacher thinks like a kid, right. but acts like an adult. Yeah. So, but I, 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 I think like them, and I'm one of them. Uh, I think it was two or three years back. Um, there was some function at uh, ULab, and uh, my, my one of my friends accompanied me over there, and you know all the students came to me and. You know, we were, we were all having a good time and all that. That when we were returning home, you know, this friend of mine commented that, you know, I always to wonder that why you don't grow up. Uh, and uh, now I know because your students will never let you get old. Yeah, I that? think that's why uh, yeah. you all, all the students are, um, at you love love uh, love you so much. Right. I think it's just the I'm blessed, you are. really blessed. Mm. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Uh, Third question, or the third, sorry, the third answer that the students gave out was, a great teacher discovers learning together. So, I mean, I'll make the example, it, I can relate uh, to this uh, a lot. So especially when we do, uh, when SU teach crime and uh, law, we used to watch movies. So once we're done with the literature of law, we used to watch movies and the, and the point was, we'll find out Evidence, circumstantial evidence. Kya chhe? Kon movie the kon evidence ke bishi korte pare. So once you do that, all everybody's involved, and they're like, okay, we are competing, and I'm, I I would belong to one group, and they're like, okay, we are against you, sir. Let's see who can do it. So it's like I'm I'm learning with them, because we're watching something new and we're learning, and then we used to use uh, the Kahoot as well. Kahoot is like an online thing where you post questions. And we, 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 we try to find answers together. And it, it makes me, again, it's all about creating this rapport. rapport, connected. I think that uh, the answers are, as you know, quite similar to uh, uh, all the other answers that they gave out. It's creating that rapport. A great teacher discovers learning together with their students. True. Yeah. Uh, in my case, you know, I kind of uh, tell my students at the beginning of each class that you're my teachers. Uh, because I think a student can either break or make a teacher. And so far, my students have always made me. Uh, and I learn a lot from them. Uh, you do? Yes. Uh, and I think, uh, like, for example, uh, every sem like I have my own book. I teach from my own book. Mm -hmm. I've got my own test textbooks for all the courses that I teach. And I have never stopped upgrading them. And each semester I learn how to make it better is because of my students. Because I learn with them. And I tell them that you're my teachers. So you, you're a I, constant learner. I'm a that. constant learner. And, and the thing is that they make me better. Uh, I'll tell you, um, when I was training someone, uh, there's a particular student I trained at Speed uh, about 10 years back. Uh, and she took the same course, Business English, from me, again, uh, when she started working for ActionAid, where I uh, tr uh, trained. And she came up to me and told me that, sir, you know what? You're much better than you were 10 years back. And I told her that that's because of my students, because mm. they helped me become better. Mm. And I think it's not only experience, it's, uh, it's uh, what they enjoy, mm. because I, I, I believe that uh, sometimes we teach them things which they don't really need. Uh, and we teach them things sometimes uh, uh, which they don't enjoy. Uh, so I make sure that when I teach them something, they enjoy that. Mm. Uh, because I believe if you don't enjoy education, you're not going to learn That's anything. That's so essential. Yeah. When it, to enjoy yeah. and to make sure from the teacher's point of view, Jay, 
কিভাবে কোর্সটা এনজয়েবল হয় মোর দ্যান যে আমি আসলে বিকজ সো ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইট ইজ বিকজ আই 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 থিংক ইউ কাম টু ইউনিভার্সিটি টু গেট অ্যান এডুকেশন নট ইনফরমেশন ইনফরমেশনটাইমসাইটি segment with this question is the answer uh, they gave out this answer they said a great teacher isn't a teacher okay and 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 actually the researcher were like baffled like w- what do you mean by a great and, and this is one of the most common answers so they reach out the students and they're like what do you mean by a great teacher isn't a teacher and they're like a great teacher is not just a teacher a great teacher is a life coach what's your what's your opinion on that absolutely uh, because uh, you, like i said you know one of my professors had told me this that you know you're not a teacher until you touch your students lives mm-hmm. this is what he meant that you just you stop teaching them and and then you cease to be a teacher no you don't because uh, they still need you uh, mm-hmm. some of my students who have graduated uh, who have left the university Uh, they still call me Probably. for advice they still call me if they get they are in any kind of trouble they still come over and uh, see me so uh, i know i've touched their lives and i know that they'll continue to do so and it it's just uh, it's not that it is a one way street it's not as if they are the only ones uh, who need me even i need them yeah yeah i, I think the analogy of riding a bike goes well with this because like a teacher even though it's a good teacher or maybe a teacher who teaches well if you ask them to okay i mean ride by ride bike riding shikbo they might tell you okay tumi ekta research karo ki bhai bike riding ko kya hai how to balance okay go and write an assignment not bike riding but a great teacher is like our parents could be our mom could be our dad our siblings or could be a friend je tumake dhorbe dhore he'll help you initial push to give you you can do this and then chhed dibe true maybe tum pore jaba i don't know uh, yeah. so, someone that said this uh, i don't exactly remember who uh, but this is what comes to my mind right now when you're giving this example the teaching is love in its truest form it's a, in its purest Couldn't form agree more. Mm. right it absolutely. is absolutely and uh, like for me uh, i think it is true because for me teaching is not a profession it's a passion i teach passionately i uh, when i'm teaching i forget everything uh, i just love it i just mm-hmm. love teaching i used to uh, uh, be a businessman i joined my father's business uh, after i uh, finished my with my education and uh, but there was i enjoyed it to a certain extent and uh, of course uh, 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 there were the pros and cons to everything but uh, i've always wanted to be a teacher so uh, like i said the thanks to these four people in my lives you know like mrs yasmin murshid malika sarwar dr frank ers and imran rahman that i am the teacher i am today and i'm 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 like you know i get very emotional especially you know when mm-hmm. i think of them because i think that 30 years down the road i hope my students will remember me like i remember these four right absolutely and right. on that beautiful note we'll wrap up this first segment uh of the podcast thank you very much thank you so we'll much start the second segment uh, shortly okay